Invicta Mustangs, an ice hockey team based in Gillingham, Kent. I admit, before beginning this film, I didn't really know what I was in for, as my previous experience of ice hockey had been very limited to say the least. What I did know was that the team played in the South 2 division of the National Ice Hockey League, and that the sport itself was equal parts brutal and elegant, something I would experience firsthand across the few days I was with the team. I was lucky enough to go behind the scenes on a match day and speak to the people that make the club tick. Okay, my name is uh, my name's Alistair Roger. I'm the head coach of the Invicta Mustangs. I got uh, involved with Mustangs through, I moved down here uh, about 35 years ago and I got involved playing for the Medway Bears at the Gillingham Life Sport and got asked to coach the Mustangs and I was delighted to carry on. I've been there for about 15 or so years now and each year you get different players coming through from the junior development coming through and I love the sport. I like to give something back. I had a very good hockey career myself and to give something back into the sport and watch players come through the system uh, gives you good enjoyment. Something that became quickly apparent to me was the loyalty and passion that the fans had, with home games selling out weekly and several travelling miles to support the side. How long did you travel to get here today? Three hours with a couple of wee stops. Everyone's just like, up for it, everyone's shouting, screaming. There's so many fans coming to watch. Yeah, so everyone's up for it. There's a good group of us now, I've made some good friends for it. I travelled with the team to London as the Mustangs took on Streatham Blackhawks in what I was promised would be a competitive clash. Okay, so Streatham are uh, sitting in the league very comfortable in the top five, same as ourselves. Uh, last year, Streatham uh, finished the league directly above us. So you can imagine uh, the intensity to today uh, between both teams. Um, we play very similar hockey, very fast teams, both of them. Um, we play a very similar style of hockey. So whoever's on the game today will win the game. It's as simple as that. I don't care how many guys they've got, who they've got, anything like that. As I said before, I look at us. We play to our potential. You've got nothing to worry about. Try and make all the fancy plays. Let's play direct hockey. Go over the blue. Get a guy in front of your net. Go for a shot. Go for a rebound. Dig deep. If we lose possession, shut them down quick. Need this guy, shut them down. Don't let them play hockey. Not a bit out of path. We'll have a little rest, somebody else go in there, make sure we do it, work hard. We know what to do. Mm -hmm. We've done it before. We came here and took it to them, made them go home feeling sad. Simple as that. Tonight's no different. Mm -hmm. All they've got is speed, nothing else. Mm -hmm. Alright? So how do we get clued on at warm up? I want to be the upper hand straight away. Yes! I want to win it, control it, and score goals. Simple as that, guys. Yep. Alright? So everybody got to be focused from now. Yep. Okay? So we've got five minutes, and then it's game time. Yep. Alright? Let's ready. Alright? After speaking to the team in the changing room and to the fans that had made the journey to support, I was beginning to understand what was so special about this club. The fans were excitedly discussing the different chants and songs that they were to sing over the course of the game, 
and were only too willing to share tales of tussles that they had had with opposition supporters in the past. There appeared to be a level of dedication to the Mustangs that I simply wasn't expecting, and the players returned the commitment, wanting to perform for the people paying to see them play. As the beginning of the game approached, I got ready for my first experience of the sport. After a frantic first few minutes, the Mustangs took the lead through Jake Stedman, much to the delight of the travelling crowd. I couldn't help but be impressed by the pace of the game, and it wasn't long before the Black Hawks drew things level. Even as a first time viewer of the sport, I could sense the rivalry between the two sides, and I wasn't made to wait too long for my first taste of the slightly more physical side to ice hockey. The intensity on the ice appeared to at one point spill over into the stands, as furious with the official's decision, the fans demanded answers from the referee. From that point onwards, Streatham began to take control of the game, making it 5-1 by the end of the second period. And despite a strong third from the Mustangs, it wasn't enough to complete the comeback, with the game finishing 6-4 to the Blackhawks. So my first experience of ice hockey was over, and I'd loved it even despite the loss. One thing that was clear was the closeness of everyone at the club, and just how much it meant to everyone who was involved. The club is, is second to none. I've been part of this club since I was five years old. So for me, yeah, I've built a lot of my friends and close family friends through the Invis Invicta club. Well, um, I've been at Invicta since a junior, so I've played every every year, and uh, it's a great club. It's always played here, never went anywhere else. So nothing bad to say. I mean, it's great. I love it. I've been playing for Muscle now six years since I was 16. Never gone to any other club. Best club going. Great atmosphere, the best atmosphere. Everyone's like a massive family, everyone's all in. You can't get any better, really. The club's a family club, like I say, all the boys get on, there's no animosity in the team, like I say, we're all there for each other. But we are, it is like a family, it's not just a team, it's like I say, we are a strong club. We've all played together from young, we've all known each other for years, so like I say, we've got a good setup, like I say, I think, I think the setup's perfect, like I say, the coaching's good, everything about the club's good in my eyes. One regret about my time spent with the Mustangs was the fact that I didn't manage to see a home game, as I was told by virtually everyone that I spoke to about how good the atmosphere is. After my first taste of the sport, I found myself itching for more, so a home game is definitely in my plans in the future. I left Gillingham thoroughly impressed with the sport, and more importantly the club itself. The passion and the commitment from everyone there was something that left a lasting impression on me and it's safe to say I'm now a definite fan of the Mustangs.